Look deep into nature and you will understand everything better. Albert Einstein. everyone, it's Francis with your book of memories. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick project share. This is my original gatefold folio. It's a project design that I made way back in the day, but this time I used gorgeous paper by Simple Stories. Simple Vintage Great Escape. Okay, so it came with a 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet. Of course, the landscape 4 by 6, 4 by 4, and we've got the 3 by 4 cut aparts and 2 by 2s. It's an amazing paper collection and I'm an absolute fanatic for <laughs> mushrooms. So it's amazing because we actually went to North Fork and purchased Lion's Mane fresh mushrooms as well as beach mushrooms, which are just incredible, packed with vitamins. So I just, I love how they're on the set with me right now. Check this out. I made this for a very special friend. So it says, share the wonder. That's a sticker from the cardstock sticker sheet right there. And then we have an excellent little element here this I purchased along with the collection as a separate pack of bits and pieces. So wonderful, Amanita muscaria right there. And this is actually a magnetic closure. So this whole little unit comes off here and you can place a photo on the back if, if you wanted to. But right here, we've got the side. I love, love the sides of this gatefold and the back. Really hope my friend can appreciate this as he loves mushrooms as well. So let's check this out. Love the iridescent features throughout this book as well. I couldn't help myself because rainbows seem to pair well with that. I love it right here on the left panel. Okay. We've got a three by four waterfall. You could cut down the three by four pieces and actually place them on the front of each one of these if you wanted to. So these just flip up and it's just beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love it. Great outdoors. Little sticker there. I did a little bit of doodling with my white gel pen. I'm obsessed with this page. Okay. Seems to be some sort of rashula, I'm not entirely sure. Not sure if it's taxonomically correct either, but it's a beautiful depiction of all different types of mushrooms and they're just so cute. So you'll notice this matte paper over here on the right panel. I've got some tags, okay, journaling lines on the back. This matte paper actually had North Fork, which is actually the center of California, which we were just over there camping over the weekend. So that's where we got these mushrooms. Uh, and we can't wait to eat them tonight. We're gonna eat them with our friends. So it's gonna be a fun day. It's cute. Follow your arrow. This flips to the left. Okay, enough talking. Check it out, we've got a pouch. Okay, sometimes nature is all you need. So when I saw my friend use this paper, I really had to get it. Okay, I really had to get it. Go check her out. Her name is Scrap and Coffee. Beautiful project she has. And we've got some different things in here from the Cut Aparts page. And you know, you can fit so many different things in here. This is an expanding pocket. So love this. Think outside, no box required. <laughs> okay, uh, that's silly. We've got, look at this. Yep, picture space. Some more of that beautiful thing. Oh my gosh, look at, the world is waiting. I love it. So I just kind of threw in my own little twists on these. I angled the corners, customized it with a couple journaling lines, different things like that. You guys know me. <laughs> I will be playing a tutorial trailer toward the end of this walkthrough, just so you can see how my teaching style works and if it's something you can learn from. It is an older tutorial, but it's a great one, and I think you'll really enjoy creating this design. And I actually have a coupon going on right now. Follow me on Facebook or Instagram. That way you can be notified of them. Okay, so fantastic. The code is I am choice when you're over on the purchase page of the website. So right here, beautiful four by six photo spot. Okay, I love the ferns, dragonflies, moths, and butterflies. It, it just doesn't get any better if I can speak properly. <laughs> okay, so wander the world, love it. Okay, right here is the center panel. We've got a waterfall. Doesn't get any better than this. Okay, it doesn't get any better. Go outside. Yes, vitamin D. And vitamin D, of course, <laughs> mushrooms have, which is unbelievably cool. See the world. Okay, beautiful. Be all there. Look deep into nature and you will understand everything better. Albert Einstein. Love the journaling line accents right there. Love the butterfly. So this actually has a magnet as well. And it opens up. Got a picture space here. 
also a little insert with an iridescent tab. That is my Stampin' Up! tab punch. It is a retired punch now, but you might be able to find it on eBay. Thank you so much, Amy. I still use it. Love you so much. Hope you are doing well. And we've got a couple. Yep, look at that. I love it. So that's what this looks like over here on this side. Okay, I had to close this side up so you could see. And then we've got a couple stacked pockets right here. Picture space, I just do my own little camera. And then we've got that. Oh my goodness gracious, making memories one adventure at a time. Okay. This was so fun to make. I'm just so looking forward to seeing you over at the tutorial. Thank you again, everyone, so much for watching. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Francis from Your Book of Memories. Welcome to the Gatefold Folio Tutorial. I'm so excited to share this project with you guys. I've made two of these so far. The Fiskars Paper Trimmer with my chipboard blade and my paper blade. This will be old and this one will be brand new for my paper. A scoring tool. A ruler. Oh, it should come right off just like that. We're going to go ahead and do that to the other side. So essentially what we're doing is making a giant piece of paper. So this is the safest way to do it. And this is how I wrap my other book. So I'd like to turn my book around, that way I can work with it a bit easier. That opens to the left, right? So this is eight by eight. And I'm gonna label this R opening flap. Line up six and five eighths along the top. And we're gonna score a half an inch and five eighths of an inch, which is just an eighth of an inch over. Fold on your score lines and try to go from center, top to bottom. And from this point, we're just gonna alternate. So the next one's gonna go back, okay? And again, stay on this half inch flap. Do not go into the quarter mark, right there. <laughs> Fold it in again. So again, using the same technique, try not to overlap that flap. We want to be right underneath it. I've already prepared this. I'm going to go ahead and align the score mark closest to the half inch flap with the edge of our expanding pocket that we made. Because I don't have that angle punch, I'm going to go ahead and cut my mat pieces first at a little angle like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue them down on my tags through all the way to the top, then come back with my scissors and angle that off. Now I'm just gonna add some chalk marker lines on the back. Some are gonna have journaling lines and some are just gonna have the white line border for places to add photos. So if one journaling card that I glued down already has journaling lines, this will be a photo mat on the back. 